There are a slew of transform options available via the edit menu. You can find them by going to edit free transform or edit transform and then there's a list. There's scale, skew, distort, perspective, etc. I'm not going to go through each one individually because that could take a long time. These are really basic adjustments but I wanted to show you where they are so that you can access them when needed. Most often you'll want to rotate or skew something so I'll demonstrate those. In addition, you can always apply modifier keys to increase the capability of whichever one of these transform options you are using. So if you're on a Mac, you can experiment with the command, option, and shift keys to see what happens when you press them and you're using one of the transform options. If you're on a PC, it'll be the control, alt, and shift keys. Let's jump over to Photoshop. In the previous video, I made a clipping mask. And for the clipping mask, I had to modify the size of my images so they would fit inside the boxes. Let's do that again, but let's do it in a document that doesn't have a clipping mask. To do this, you don't have to have anything selected. I have a selection marquee active. I'm going to deselect. That's Command or Control D, or you can go to the Select menu and choose Deselect. I want to modify the content of this background layer, but background layers are not modifiable. That's not a real world word, I just made it up. Um, so I need to convert the background layer to a regular layer. Now I can select the layer I want to modify the content on and select Edit, Free Transform. I like this option the best because it allows me to scale by clicking and dragging. You can distort by holding Shift down which allows you to distort the aspect ratio of what you're doing. It's a bad idea to do that, so don't, don't do that. Let me undo that. You can also hover over the corner, and you'll get little arced arrows, which will allow you to rotate your shape or your object or whatever happens to be selected. If you prefer, you can choose Edit, Transform, and Scale, which would specifically be used to scale or edit, transform, rotate, which would be used just to rotate. You can also skew, distort, and perspective. And they do different things. So now in, in scale, if I clicked a corner and dragged it, the whole shape would get bigger or smaller proportionally. But I have perspective selected. So when I click and drag down, the bottom and the top anchor points move. So it looks like my object is moving back in perspective. And so you can do it so that it's a horizontal adjustment or you're making it vertically go back. Sometimes you can use this is if you have, um, if you took a picture of a building and you're too close to it and it looks like a warped perspective, you could come in here and you could widen the top of the building so that it looks like it's straight instead of going back in the distance. Let's undo those changes. You can go back and choose, make sure you have a layer selected, edit, transform, and you can do, let's do distort. When you click and drag, you can see how we can distort on a plane. You can also use the modifier keys, right? So I'm going to press the command or the control key, and you can see what happens with that key or the option key or the shift key. What I would like you to do is to play around with these modifier keys. Press two of them at the same time. See what happens if you hold the shift key or the option and control key. Uh, they don't always do the same thing and sometimes they don't do anything depending on the transform option you have selected. But it's kind of fun to play around with. At the very least, at this point in the semester, I want everyone to be able to scale and rotate. So whether you choose edit free transform or edit transform scale, you should be able to make things bigger or smaller and you can use the move tool to move it around your workspace. I also want you to be able to rotate, so you have to choose Edit, Free Transform, or Edit, Transform, Rotate. Um, you still get the arced arrows. If you're on Free Transform, you have to hover until you see the arced arrows, but you can see with Rotate selected, that's the only option you have. Click and Rotate, and you can rotate your selection. Hit Return to accept your changes, and then you can move your object around. You may want to use this for your collage assignment where you have to put a collage of pictures together. You could make it look like you have a bunch of printed photographs that are all laying on a table or something like that. So they're all at different angles and different sizes.